My lifetime of study and the wisdom of age can all be distilled to this. Stop. Stop talking. Stop thinking. Stop whatever you are doing. We are standing right now in heaven on earth. Reality is conscious and alive. It knows us. Divinity is everywhere and everything. We don't see this because we only see our thoughts that create another world, a world that is crazy and ugly. Stop everything, wake up and see. When the ego goes, thought goes, beliefs go, false self and false world evaporate and the whole house of cards falls apart to reveal that we never left the garden. We are divine beings in a divine world. Pure consciousness, joy, beauty, and love. The self now rises inside like a great tide, filling us with so much joy that all darkness dissolves. And in the great unity of being, I am you, you are me, we are God. This is the other world. Live in awakened consciousness and know that we are loved, guided, and protected no matter what appears to be happening by world of man judgments. As a mystical activist, step into the new world right where you are. This consciousness will transform everything you do, and it is contagious. Now, from the depths of conscious divine being, go do the impossible. Blessings, John. May the following poems inspire your journey. Something vast is happening. Something vast is happening. Something immense, mysterious, breathtaking. The whole cosmos is evolving. I sense it. Can you? A vast presence permeates the universe, awakening our collective consciousness to the holy. We are evolving. Pay attention. Feel it. Dissolve in its energies the way music dissolves people on the dance floor. The unveiling of God has begun. Alive, alert, loving, within and without, God is everywhere and everything. There is no place where we can go that God is not. The apocalypse, too, is God. To survive this reckoning, Watch as divinity unfolds its new creation and the path back to Eden. Long overdue, the unveiling of God has begun. When the earth and her beings are experienced as sacred, we will behold them with the exquisite tenderness, patience, and reverence of a lover. Creation is your beloved. Becoming the Cosmos. I am the Cosmos. How can it be otherwise? Lift off the thin veneer of identity and what's left is God, the living, divine, conscious immensity of being. This is the mystic's spectacular discovery. Find out for yourself and never go back to the straitjacket of who you thought you were in the marketplace of opinions. Waking up in the movie. We live in our own ongoing movie, lost in its plot, characters, conflicts, emotions, and desires. In awakened consciousness, we step off the screen and burst out laughing with amazement. It was all imagined, no longer owned by the movie's drama. How amazing to be so radically free. The Dream of Reality 
What is reality if not a dream? Can you prove it otherwise and not still be in the dream? I say heaven on earth is God's perfect dream of creation, divine consciousness materializing a world of being and enchantment. Like a movie projector, divine light throws pictures on the screen, but acting like apprentice artists painting over their master's work, we add a second dream layer spun by our own thoughts, beliefs, conflict, trauma, struggle, and suffering. The entire journey of life runs between these two dreamlands. Awakening from the second dream, we find the original dreamer in the light-filled landscape of the original dream. The Possibilities of Sacred Consciousness We are just beginning to experience the possibilities of mystical awareness. Possibilities like dissolving the false world, experiencing awakened consciousness, realizing heaven on earth, embracing the powers of God, building sacred community, becoming divine humans, communicating across the veil, and healing the planet. This new consciousness is evolution's urgent objective. It's already here. You're it.